Human failure is part of being human. You know, humans are incredible things. Um, they're inventive, they're creative, they do so, 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 so much. Failing is part of being human, is part of being human. We know how it works, this has been studied so much. Um, the key thing in, uh, in cybersecurity is we have bad guys actively trying to get people to fail. Um, the siren call of, um, of the con artist, uh, of the swindler, is something which is as old as humanity itself. So um, we're never going to completely get rid of the problem of, um, of human failure. What we can do is understand how humans fail and bring that into cybersecurity. Uh, I think fundamentally is keeping uh, temptation away from the end user. If we can block the threats getting in the inbox of the of the of the end user or getting in front of them, we're removing temptation and they're less likely to fail. We need to equip people with the knowledge to recognize when uh, when they might be in conned or scammed or, or doing something which is against their interests. But I think most importantly in the way uh, of awareness and cybersecurity in general is using human nature to get the users to work together with the cybersecurity team. Don't, don't see them as, as like a police force standing over you, um, sort of trying to enforce the rules, but, but engage with the users, get the conversation going so we can build the relationships and encourage people to do the right thing or to equip them with the knowledge to do the right thing. And equally, when they have doubts, when they think that something's not quite right, to feed that information back to the cybersecurity team, who can then use that to actually investigate further. Yeah, I, I, I agree with Martin. This, certainly, technology can help us a lot with protecting the end user, but ultimately, the end user is the weakest, the weakest link. Um, so, I think it's it's a combination. Cybersecurity is really a combination of technology, human factors, policies, procedures. And unfortunately, I think there's a lot of emphasis on technology, but there's a lot of different aspects to cybersecurity. Yeah, it's, all, of the, of the, so well, it's the, all about getting the users to do the right thing um, and equipping them with, uh, with the knowledge and the structures and frameworks to, to allow them to do that. Yeah, I, I think, Martin, one of the things that really resonated with me is, is you mentioned that failure is part of human nature. And, and I think it's, it's really integral to the learning process. But uh, I think we also have to consider the consequences of really all it takes is just a single failure to give a threat after that initial foothold into an organization. So I, I think that also highlights the importance of security awareness training and, and even to some extent uh, simulation of stuff like phishing attacks and other social engineering campaigns in your organization because while failure is part of that learning process, you want that failure to take place within the confines of your organization within a controlled scenario rather than something that's going to be uh, immensely consequential to your organization in a negative way.